This is a Love Life Horoscope Tarot reading for Aries from May 24th to June 7th, 2022. Let's get to it. What advice do the spirits have for you? The lovers. Ooh. The star. And the wheel of fortune. Wow. Three major arcanas. There's something very beautiful here. This is in regards to two cards of soulmates. So this is a soulmate connection. It's almost like there's a date coming up, a very special event, but it's it's like spirits are asking you to, to make this even bigger, to, to pull out all the stops here. The wheel of fortune, something incredible is, is about to start turning here in terms of this connection. This is already something that you're planning on doing with this person, something that that is is very attractive for both of you. Some sort of occasion. This could be a date. This is you both coming together. But the, with the star, it's, these are three very beautiful cards. It's, it's like you're making it even bigger. Something more grandiose in a sense. Pulling out all the stops, like I said before, it's this energy where, where no stone is left unturned. It's, it's this perfection that's being put into this moment so that it is greater than, than expected. The Wheel of Fortune. Spirits want this to happen in order to, to, to bring your destiny to, 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 there's something of a destined event that, that is transpiring. That's why this occasion needs to be so huge. So much importance is placed on this. What's, uh, what's coming up for you in the next two weeks? Let's ask that. What is this all about? Six of Wands. Victories. Three of Pentacles, oh, collaboration, and the Five of Swords, or sorry, five, five of Cups. You're not looking at what's coming towards you in the right way. The, the person that you're dealing with, they want to have a victory with you, something that they want to do together with you. You're, you're underselling it. It's this energy with this Five of Cups where perhaps things didn't work out for you in the past. So you don't want to get hurt like that again. You're still, you're still, you haven't fully recovered from that pain of past relationships that, that didn't work out the way that you wanted them to. It's almost like, like if you don't get this perfect, if you allow these past feelings to dictate how much effort you put into this date, whatever you're working on with this person, whatever's bringing you together, they're already on board. They want to have this victory with you. They want to be surprised by the beauty, the, 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 this moment. They're very open to that. You're, you're still not seeing it yet. It's like you... You refuse to give yourself as much as you did in the past because of the pain that it cost you. There's a lot of importance on making something as perfect as it can be. It's it's that energy of it's that energy of, of you know your first love. You you do everything right. 
because you've never been hurt before. You don't, you don't know what that means to be hurt. So you don't hold back. And then later on, people start holding back. This is, this is not the time to hold back anymore. This is about making something perfect. Let's clarify the five of cups here for them. Rebirth for you. Submission. You're letting the weight of these past relationships dictate how much you're going to give to this new connection. And that's not a good energy. This is all about you surpassing that, that pain. Trying to put that behind you, not submitting to it. Because if you submit to this, you won't achieve this perfection. You need to do something so beautiful like this is the first time you're falling in love. What is this wheel of fortune? What's coming in? Like spirits are are putting something on your path. That they're they're pointing you in the direction. It's very important. Whatever this date is, that there's some sort of importance that comes out of it. What is this wheel of fortune? What starts turning for you and this person if you get it right? Four of Pentacles, the King of Swords. And the Five of Swords. Huh. The Wheel of Fortune. It stops you from doing something that... This date is so important. The Wheel of Fortune here is to make sure that this date is important. Because if, if it isn't... It's like if you decide to hold back and put the emphasis on trying to, to communicate, trying to put all the focus on, the, on what you have to say, who you are, you, your own intellect, it's not going to have the desired outcome that you're looking for. The Wheel of Fortune is to get you both together. It's not what comes after. It's to... Like the goal here is to have this moment be as perfect as can be. Because if it's not, then like if you if you end up not giving everything that you could and put the emphasis on, you know, like there's that saying, I want people to, to like me for me, you know, like and that's how I see you going into this. Like you want this person to recognize who you are. Right. But if they don't feel that you feel that they're special enough to, to create this beautiful event, to create all this, to make this as special as possible, then it's not going to deliver the message that you want with this person. This next date is very important for you both. This is about you not holding anything back. Don't don't think practically. Don't think in terms of money, in terms of saving for the future. Don't think that way. Don't think in terms of, you know, you're owed somebody that, that's going to want to hear your truth, hear who you are, hear, hear what you have to say. It's, it's not about you putting yourself in that position where you, you deserve to be heard. It's about making this person feel that this is so special. There's more to this than your own identity, right? Otherwise, it's, it's like it doesn't get going. What is this Five of Swords for them? Tenacity for you. Moderation. Yeah, if you hold back, if you don't give enough, then it's too hard for them to, to climb that mountain. It's too hard hard for them to see what you truly feel for them if everything you're you're if you're keeping your emotions to yourself right this is soulmate energy spirits want this to happen here for you this person is already coming into it with the feeling of a win like that they, they are if you don't give them you know something beautiful that then it's like they get let down. They, they feel that you're holding back. 
How do you make this special? How do you make this moment special? What do you need to do? The moon? Ah, oh, keep it hidden. Keep it as surprise. Don't tell them. Five of wands. And the six of wands. Or six of swords. Huh. This is what you're battling with. Ah, this is what you're battling with. Competition. This person has competition for their affection. It's, it's comp, well, it, you, you're in competition with others for this person. You may not be aware of that. That's not what they, this person wants you, but there is competition here. You need to do something that nobody else would do. While everyone else is fighting for this person's attention, it's like you steal them away. You take them to a place that they've never been before, in a direction that they've never experienced. It needs to be somewhat of a secret from them where you're taking them. Let's clarify the Six of Swords. For them, teaching. For you, Agreements. Ah. You're going to be teaching this person where you, you whatever this is, it, it's kind of like you're, you're taking a role of sh not just showing them something, but teaching them something that they've never seen before. This, this, this is what ties you both together. Where, whatever their, whatever this destination is, it's not something that they've ever thought of before. They're completely in the dark. This is totally a new direction for them to go. You're taking them there. This could be a new location, but it, it feels like more of a destination in terms of, in terms of like the mind, right? teaching them something that they've never been taught before. This, this has to be something so out of the ordinary that they've never experienced, but it, it builds a connection. It builds an agreement that is, that kind of lays a contract between you. Very interesting. There is competition. You may not be aware of this because this person doesn't, show you how many people are interested in them, but you have to do something that those people would never do. This has to be big. Interesting. In the extended, we'll go to the random love generated questions. We'll ask, what do you have to look forward to in this connection? What surprises lay in store for you in the next two weeks? The Wheel of Fortune here, there might be some surprises that benefit you with this. Hmm. The spirits want this to happen. Uh, what is the love interest looking for from this connection? Ah, this could give you some, some direction. What secret came between you in the past? Interesting. I wonder if, well, the biggest secret so far is that there's other people that are fighting for their attention. I like it. Well, we're going to dig into that. The link for the extended is down below. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best of your choices. Much love.